next game is here two weeks later. So limit the mistakes, play smart, ground balls clearing, and limit the turnovers. Angelo Petrakis, Regan Andrews at the X, and Petrakis gets the initial face off, and Cornell will be in the box first in the opportunity to get that first goal of the season. Petrakis coil near side. Jake Pacino, one of the top players on this U Albany team, marking him. Got Elijah Gass marking Hugh Kelleher today, one of their big midfielders. Watch that matchup today. That should be pretty interesting. Thirty seconds on the shot clock. Inside shot score. Big rip there. That's patient, Cornell first on the board. Patient Cornell offense. Swinging the ball around, getting the matchup that they're looking for. Attacking the left side. So you can see gets underneath. Able to take advantage of the short stick on La Pietro. Dalton. Back out top, Lombardi. Check their shot scores. Lombardi's got a pair. He bounced it home as he came off the slight screen there and a 2 nothing lead for the Big Red. New Albany rematched up and they had the defense position, but Lombardi just took a little advantage of attacking that right alley there. And as he came down, just took a little split dodge, got his hands free, enough space. So you can see the pass come here. Makes a quick little stick fake. Gets past the defender, able to put that on goal. Cursed far side. Blake lost it out of the cross as he was getting ready to let it go. Here comes Pacino with those long strides. Check that, that's Gash with those long strides. He gets inside, shoot, score, Elijah Gash. And there's your pull goal, Mike. You love those for the juice. That's the juice goal that you Albany need right there. Elijah Gash has scored both of you Albany's first goals here in the first two games of the season. Elijah Gash is really great at creating offense at the midfield. Loose ball on the ground, picks it up, able to get that big frame We'll get a look at that gash break after this, that gash goal after this timeout. You're watching America East men's lacrosse. It's a John Zilberti guy. You know, I played uh, at Herkimer with his father, uh, Danny Sr., and he's the same exact type player. Small, fast, super quick, can break ankles. Really crafty dodger. Ripped. Decker rips one from about tw from the 20-yard line. He's got you all Albany's second goal, and we're square at two. Nathan Decker steps into one, gets the ball on the right wing, able to pick the near 90 here on Chase Erland as that ball came around quick. Well, 42 seconds on the shot clock. Kessel ring. Nice pass there. Shot score. Kessel ring to Silas Richmond, the freshman combined to make you Albany, give you Albany its first lead of the day. Great little look and dump right there to Silas Richmond coming right down the alley as Kesslering fake going underneath. Makes a little move as he had the short stick. Makes like he's turning, turns back, sees Richmond right in that little soft spot, unaccounted for. And that's going to be a goal. Maintains its perfect work on clears. Perfect last week against Syracuse, six for six on clears today. 19 to 19 on Friday, as he said so. Clearing game is strong. You want to be at 90% on clears. That's kind of what the expectation should be. We'll take 100. Yeah, sure. Palangin, far side. Watch there by Christopher Davis. Sleet doubles back. Works the two-man game with Hogg. Nothing there. Sleet's another player from Georgia who we missed last year. He yep. was out last year. Returns to the Danes this year. He should bring some much-needed offense. Shot there and a score! You Albany increases that lead to four to two. Braden Hogg starts to get going here and the Dane train has some steam as he gets underneath, attacks that same alley, able to get loose underneath with a shorty, gets past it, far side pipe, low corner, four two there, but Erlen was up to the test going off stick side, making that save. She and a guy Scott Barr and his team wanted initially out of Rockville Center. He chose to go to Denver and then got out there and just wanted to come back closer to home. So, great back 
where he would have been had he initially been recruited by U Albany as part of this class. Look inside and a goal there. Just a quick shot by Kirst. He's got his second of the day and we're squared four. Goes to the high bouncer this time. Able to get that ball past Tommy Heller as he came. Flags will fly. Kirst will go out and get it. Perfetto got hammered from behind. Now Kirst inside. Flags on the field. Dodges around, gets loose and scores to Heller's right. 5-4 Cornell. Kirst turns the corner with the delayed flag. Picks up his third goal for the Cornell Big Red there. As you can see him turning the corner with the delayed flag. He's got a shorty. That's not a good thing for you all, but you want to have a pole on him. Gets right past that. Able to put it through five hole on Tommy Heller. Out there. Not sure if that actually got through or that might have hit Richmond. I think that might have hit him in the helmet. Yeah, you can hear that sound from up here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what the official just said, said to Scott Marr. So no shot clock reset there. 37 seconds to go. Palangian outside. Alex Pfeiffer, another one of the highly touted first years on this team. Pfeiffer scored his first career goal in the Dome. Hogg lets it go, top corner for Graydon Hogg. And we're not in a five. Graydon Hogg is boss from the left side. Going left side near 90. Gets the feed from X. Sets his feet. Top to Decker, 40 seconds to go. We all been to use both their timeouts already, so they'll be taking this right down here. On comes Kesselring. Speedy freshman, 5'7", 135. One of our former Great Danes, Eric Tompkins, coached him at Lambert High School down in Georgia. Uh, had a lot of great things to tell us about him when he was coming up here. Um, really like him getting the time that he's getting right now. Pucci gets pushed out. Marked by Smith. Kesselring great down look. low. One more for Sheehan. Kesselring with a great pass to Sheehan. Sheehan's got the goal with 4.7 to go, and you all when he's got the lead. That's the quality shot that Scott Maurer talked about. Getting a really good look on Chase Erlin. Unselfish play. Kesselring gets the ball low to TJ. TJ pumps high, goes low. 6-5, UAlbany with 4.7 to go in the first half. First career goal for TJ Sheehan, second assist. Tell us about him when he was coming up here. Um, really like him getting the time that he's getting right now. Pucci gets pushed out. Marked by Smith. Kesselring great down look. low. One more for Sheehan. Kesselring with a great pass to Sheehan. Sheehan's got the goal with 4.7 to go. And you all when he's got the lead. That's the quality shot that Scott Maurer talked about. Getting a really good look on Chase Erlin. Unselfish play. Kesselring gets the ball low to TJ. TJ pumps high, goes low. 6-5, UAlbany with 4.7 to go in the first half. First career goal for TJ Sheehan. Heller tried to get out there, but Cornell had backup with Brian Piatelli. His brother John, 147 goals in his four-year career for the Big Red. Connor Busick feels the, the Piatelli name will just continue to do big things here for the Big Red. Kelleher oh. rips it. I think Heller got something on that, but that ball had so much juice. Went right over the top of the cross and into the back of the net for a Cornell lead at 7-6. Nice look. Richmond just kind of flicks it over, comes back outside to Pfeiffer. Palangian with 20. Hard shot from outside. Palangian came all the way around, showed some patience, and then ripped it home to tie us at seven. Palangian used all of his frame there. 
215, the graduate student out of Belmont, Mass, via Avon Old Farms. Turns the corner, steps, able to get it five hole. Oh, check that. It's worth them. Not 34. Blake will go out and pick it up. Kelleher looking for space. Goes to X, bring it all the way back around. Blake again with Decker. Nice play there by Wortham. Kelleher now gets a step. 27 on the shot clock. Nice spin move there by Kirst who gets inside oh, from a very difficult angle. Almost goal line extended, and he put that in anyway for his fifth goal. C.J. Kirst has done it all today, folks. Shooting-wise, dodging-wise, watch this. On the lower goal line extended, gets underneath the defender. Oh, gave it a little leaner. Looked low. Change your stick angles, get a tougher shot on a good quality goalie. Erlin now with eight saves on the game. Long pal ball a there. Dart to Kirst. Right to Kirst, right. Who comes around. Safe there by Heller. He got some stick on that as you Albany hustles over. Her uncle tries to hustle over and there was no reset the there, ball. so I'm not sure if that went through. They didn't get reset the clock, so I think that went through. There's 45 on the shot clock here. It looked like he had a piece of it, but sure did, yeah. Inside, cursed with so much room to crank that home with goal number six. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. We had a double up top. Somebody was free down low, and uh, if you're going to leave anybody open, Not him. don't have it be 15 as he picks up the double Hattie on the day versus U Albany, giving him a shot on the high crease. He's able to put that ball in the back of the net quite easily. Two-goal lead for Corey, former attackman there. Nice to have those alumni connections. Definitely. Purple family. Palangin near side. Pfeiffer will attack from the far. Less than 30 seconds in the shot clock. Sheehan comes hard out from X, but nothing there. Out, out, outside now, Salit. Adler watches him. See, there's no Steps slide. Salit there, shot, score! Might have a flag he paid too, for yeah. it, and a flag flies. But Salit gets the goal that draws you up, and he within one. So big play by Peter Salit, getting the goal to pull you Albany within one. We said he missed all last year. He's back with the Danes here to get a big goal. He can attack from behind. Is able to get underneath Gavin Adler. Little swim move, hides his stick really well, and throws it down. In 21. He, he had six Peter goals that year. Unassisted. He gets the unassisted tally today. You Albany's got a one minute EMO. Slapped away there. Sheehan goes to get it with 36 seconds to go on the man up. Got to move the ball. Pucci, down low, shot, score! Pucci looks for Richmond. Richmond goes low to high, and we're tied at nine. Richmond rips it. Top shelf to pull the Danes. Tied with the big red on this man up. Low to high, far side. Cornell, no rush here. Just trying to set up a good shot. 30 seconds, now 28. Getting a lot of traffic in the middle. Coyle lets it go and scores. From about 10 yards out, Coyle just came around that screen, put the ball back into the back of the net, and Cornell opens up that 10-9 lead with 7.43 to go. Opportunity to do it again. Gets the ground ball there, does Nick Carnes. He'll go toward the goal. Slapped away, though. Ball is loose. No one's be able to seem, <laughs> seemingly able to find it. 
It's stuck in his jersey, I think. It popped out. Get stuck up in Karn's jersey? I think it did. I think it popped out of his stick. Went down the neck of his it jersey. His, it kind of, he kind of signaled. Stuck in his helmet. <laughs> As the there it come is. Together. Carnes had it go down the front of the jersey and nobody could find it. It might be a redraw. I don't think I've seen that before, Rich. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> so Carnes is coming off. You can't argue he had possession. It was inside oh, okay. his shirt, so. With holding the ball. I, the, yeah, I guess. Not my intentional. Nope. But it was checked away from him, stuck in there. So Cornell's going to get the call as Scott Mars asking what the ruling actually was. One to mark down and ask about after the game. Around to X. Coil. Come back out top to Lombardi. They'll reset. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Here's Curse now. Match with Pacino. Lombardi. Shot there. Oh, on the rebound. Heller got the initial with some help from the pole, post rather. But Cornell on the rebound to take a two goal advantage. That was a hockey stick goal. He didn't even quick stick it. It hit the post, or Heller made the save. The ball squirted out. And you can see him just in one motion hockey stick it right into the goal. See it on the ground. Boom. Andrew Dalton. Nice heads up play on the ground ball. Dalton with his first goal of the year. Two goal advantage now for the Cornell Big Red. Make it three. As in quick transition, Cornell comes right back and gets another one. Mark Silos won that face off clean. And Scott Marr looked like they were talking about there was motion. He was thinking there should have been a whistle there because Cards was beat clean before that. Silos a little jump step, top shelf. To give the big red a three goal lead. That's a big goal. Smart to that and got back in, into the crease. Good discipline there by Cornell. Not pushing that. There's no one. Time is their friend. The double comes. Somehow he gets through that. Still loose. Cornell oh. picks it up out in front. Coyle couldn't handle it. Ball's loose. Shot clock violation. Flags oh, on the play on. after Heller and Coyle go at it as Heller's helmet got knocked off. Some think, pushing and shoving there. I think Tommy had uh, enough of some of the scrums in front of his yeah. cage right there. Trying to battle for that loose ball. Go back and grab the helmet. Now, Coyle just had an opportunity right in front. A scrum for the ball as two Al U Albany players that's there. Gonna be, that's got to be two minutes. That's going to be locked in. Contact to the head. Brian. Cross check. Brian Piatelli came in and get someone in to, to serve that penalty. Jake Pacino comes over to take a look. So I think, what I think what Scott was talking about is it's not a question of the penalty. It's where the ball's going to be right now. So it's, it's a... Mm. Taking a swing at him with no helmet with a stick there. That's pretty dangerous as well. A coil. I would think there'll be a penalty on that as well. So there's the, so there's on the, the first ball. penalty. There's yep. the two minute penalty to the head of Heller, which takes his helmet, helmet off. off. And then afterwards, Kirsch gets up, takes a swing, makes contact with Tommy Heller in the face, and then swings his stick at him with no helmet on, too. Pretty dangerous play right there. So Coyle should get a penalty on that as well. So a two minute penalty on Kelleher. I don't think Kelleher was even in that I don't play. think he was either. So oh, you always going to need to get into a quick set. See if they can get a good shot here. Pucci pushed out there by Davis. Spins back the other way. Shot there. Score! Jack Pucci. 129 to go. It's 12-10. Pucci going to the left hand. Known for the right-handed hammer. He sets up 
shifts, comes back to the left side on the right, and goes a little elevator, and puts it off hip on Chase Erlen. Nice spot, maintain that possession. But really nice shot here by Pucci. We get another look at it here. Sets his feet, comes off, off hip on Erlen. Great spot to go on a big goalie. Love to go off hip. Tough spot. Quickly up the other way, picked up there by Adler as time will run out on the UAlbany Great Danes today in their home opener here at Tommy and Mary Casey Stadium. A 12-10 final, Cornell on top, but a well-played effort by UAlbany. Kind of going along with that theme we talked about earlier about there's good things coming for this UAlbany team this year. Yeah, just build on the process. You know, Scott plays a huge non-conference schedule. You're playing 